as we are seeing uh, an overall decline of uh, the rates of new infections in the general populations of HIV infections, we also observe a dramatic increase of HIV infections in men who have sex with men and in transgender uh, populations. To give you a couple of examples, in the United States we know that about 50% of uh, all new HIV infections happen in uh, men who have sex with men. And from uh, 23 European countries we know that over a seven year period the rate of new infections has increased uh, in men who have sex with men by 86%. Men who have sex with men and transgender persons are more vulnerable to HIV infection. To give you some figures, men who have sex with men are 20 times more likely to become HIV positive. We have seen from studies, and there are not many among transgender persons, but that there is a prevalence, which means the, the rate of uh, HIV infections of up to 68% in transgender groups. So that is one reason. The second very important reason is that these groups are very stigmatized in many settings, in many countries, and they are therefore uh, not able to access the health services that they need. They are often excluded, they are often uh, discriminated against, and often they receive services that are of inferior quality if they are able to even access the services. We hope that they will reorient their programs to really address the needs of these populations and make services more inclusive.